babysitters, welcome back to another video. It's Lydia, thanks for joining me. Um, so a while back, I gave you a little peek into my personal life to let you know what was going on because I didn't feel as if I was giving 100% into the content that I was creating for you guys. Um, and in today's video, I wanted to give you some updates. I have had a lot of things going on in my life. There's been a lot of ups and downs for the family. And I just wanted to give you guys some updates. So um, in the last video, I talked about my grandmother moving in with us because she had cancer. Um, unfortunately, in late January, she did pass away. She was an inspiration to a lot of people. Um, she worked at the county fair in San Diego and a, she worked with a lot of young adults and they all looked up to her. Uh, she has four kids and eight grandchildren, so there is a lot of us. Um, and she really taught us the importance of family and sticking close and seeing each other all the time. She also was fearless. Uh, one of my favorite memories of her was right after my older sister's wedding, she went skydiving with all of us at the age of 74, 75 maybe. Um, she jumped out of a plane, so very fearless, and she taught us that uh, you shouldn't be scared of life. So um, she taught us a lot. <laughs> uh, the, so she passed on a Monday, the weekend beforehand. All of her kids were here and were visiting her, and they were laughing and giggling and reminiscing on memories. So it was a very good weekend before her passing. After her passing, um, around her birthday in February, everybody came back, all of her kids came back to spread her ashes. It was very low key and very pleasant and that's exactly how she wanted things. Another event that's been really difficult on us is the diagnosis of our dog having cancer back in November. Um, we did have to make the unfortunate decision to put her down this past week. Uh, it was really difficult and hard on everybody. She had been with us for 12 years. Um, my sister, my older sister is a dog trainer and, and a handler, and this was her dog to show in all the dog sports. She was extremely smart and had all the titles. Um, it's never an easy decision to put a dog down, but she definitely was ready and it was her time. Um, but it was, we had a vet actually come to the house to put her down here in her place of home where she was comfortable. Um, surrounded by everybody who loved her. She got all the treats um, in the beginning of the day and she got to do all the things that she loved before her passing. And her, even though it was a very difficult decision for us, her passing was very peaceful. Um, and I think we, it kind of made us feel a little bit better that it was a peaceful passing for her. So that has happened in the past week. Um, and in the middle of it all, um, life has ups and downs, we know that. It's sometimes difficult to celebrate the good times in the middle of the bad times, and I definitely felt that and was learning that through the past two months. And what I mean is I launched my website, I launched my business um, to all of my clients, and it was a very happy fun thing for me to do. I was very proud of it. I was very excited of it for it um, and for my clients to use it and give feedback. Um, but that launch was in the midst of everything else that was going on. And it was really difficult for me to feel both happy and sad at the same time. Happy that I'm moving forward in my career, but, but very sad that my personal life, there was a lot of death in my personal life. Um, I, but through it all, I had an amazing support system and it was, I wasn't alone through the process. And I think that's what I really appreciated. So in the last couple of months with it being very bad for me and my family, it has also been really good. So I just mentioned the launch of my website that has been going good. Um, we're really excited about the progress it's been making. Um, but I have some even more exciting news. I'm gonna be an aunt. So this is my younger sister, Natalie. She is going to be having a baby. You are due in? July. July, the beginning of July. 
and she just moved down from North Carolina. So I, I in pre previous videos, I've talked about my younger sister being in North Carolina, but she's now living with us. And why are you living with us? My husband got out of the military, so we decided to come back home closer to family. That's that. Yeah, you wanted to live closer to family. So you're house hunting. Mm -hmm. So she's house hunting um, right now while living with us so that um, the pressure is off of them and they can find a house that they need and want for the three of them, right? Mm -hmm. It'll be three of you. So um, what was the process like moving from North Carolina down to Florida? Did you... It was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess? Oh my God. Why? Um, so originally he was supposed to come home, we were supposed to come home in July, or January. Okay. Um, but then paperwork got messed up, so then we ended up coming in February. Um, so moving out was just a mess. Um, on our way home, we got keys locked in the car, so we couldn't, it took longer than we expected. So you, you drove down with a U-Haul, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Ten hour drive. I didn't realize it was that long. Oh my goodness. Um, but it's never a road trip without a couple bumps. So. Yeah. Um, but he is not here with us right this second. He's still in North Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. He gets out in March. So he, or yeah, at the end of this month. So. Okay. So he'll, and he'll move in with us and then they'll, they'll continue house hunting together and finding that place to raise a baby. Speaking of the baby, you are due in July. Do you know the gender? Not yet. How are you going to find out? Um, we're going to be doing a baby shower in June. Who's planning that? You. <laughs> That's right. So speaking of that, I'll be doing vlogs during this time. Um, really more for us to look back on once the baby's born and maybe a couple of years down the road. Um, but we'll bring you guys along as well, planning it and uh, having the baby shower. Um, and at the end of the baby shower, the gender will reveal what happened as well, right? What gender do you think this baby's gonna be? Do you have a guess? I don't have a guess, but I do have, like I want one more than the other. What gender would you like it to be? <laughs> I want a boy. You want it to be a boy? Alrighty. Well, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. I don't know, I, I think it's a girl. I don't care what it is, but I think it's a girl. I've had dreams about it being a girl. So I, for some reason, um, do you, are you scared? No, not really. Do you feel pregnant? No. That's why. <laughs> no. <laughs> not that pregnancy is scary, um, but, but that it's, it's coming up fast. You're halfway through. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it or look like it. So no, you don't look pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Moving back in with me, mom and dad, how has that been? It's been definitely different from living with just me and my husband to now back home with people I grew up with. With me. With you. Yeah. <laughs> um, has it been difficult? Like in the sense of um, not stepping on toes or crossing boundaries or any of that stuff? Yeah, because it's different from when we grew up. It was yeah. very different. We already knew and now that we're older, things are different. Personalities are different. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. You well, when we were younger, I think um, house rules were established a little more and, and there were boundaries when you're, we were younger. Now that we're both adults, I think it's a little difficult to have mom and dad put boundaries in. Not only that, they don't care. <laughs> Not that they don't care, but like we are adults and we make decisions on our own. And um, I think what's kind of happening is that we're all living our own lives just all in the same house, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like we all do our own thing but come together for dinner at the end of the day. Well, so. I have a question for you. How's it feel moving, me moving back in with my husband? You knew him when we were in high school when we were first dating. That's right. So I knew her husband. Um, we were in the same class, graduating class, and I, I think I knew him before you did. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's really weird. I mean, you really friends with him. No, but. no, no, no. But we had classes together and um, we, we interacted as classmates so I think it's really weird uh, because you guys went sh you went straight from high school to moving out for four years I don't think we've made that relationship that like Savannah's husband and I have yeah you know 
Um, but I think it'll be really cool to make that connection. I don't know. I have mixed feelings because it is now, not that this is my space because it's our parents' houses, but you guys are coming into this space rather than me making that connection with you guys while you live down the road or down the street or stuff that and like you've that. never lived with a boy other than dad that's true that is true um i'm worried about the mess <laughs> not that you guys are messy uh but i just like things my way and i know that's not going to happen all the time so <laughs> i'm learning and i i get it and i'm i'm getting there so that's a good question i think i think i'll be okay It'll be fine. <laughs> so do you have any other questions, concerns, or anything you want to add before we close out? Just excited for you guys to be there with me on this journey. Yeah, and you will be there with us as well as I'm going to take you along on this journey of the baby shower and the gender reveal and all that fun stuff before the baby comes. And then afterwards, um, in previous videos, I mean, I haven't been using clients, children to show you exactly what to do with kids, but now that I, with permission, right, mm. um, will be able to show you firsthand kind of what it looks like to work with children. And um, I'm really excited about that. So that is our life updates, our family life updates, and I'm sure there's more to come. And again, you'll be seeing us more often and more frequently, and I can't wait. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.